Hi. I'm Samantha Jones. We've spoken on the phone several times. Uh-huh. Please stay behind the partition. Sorry. I know that you said Dr. McAndrew was booked, but I was referred here by Dr. Ward and Dr. Popham, who both attended the paint for the cure benefit I threw. I'm sorry. The doctor can't. She's booked through March. My good friend Susan Schaefer, who threw the dance for the cure benefit, said that sometimes Dr. McAndrew can squeeze you in if you just show up. March. Well, who do you have to fuck to get chemo around here? Excuse me? I'm sorry. I'm upset. I, I'm dealing with cancer. All of New York is dealing with cancer. Not to mention some very pushy people in Los Angeles and Miami. Fine. I'll just take a seat and hope for an opening. The doctor has no openings till March. You already said that. You know, I've been here since 9 a.m., so if anyone's going to get in without an appointment, it's me. Loud and clear. Don't worry about me. I'll get in. Well, I've been waiting for two days, and so far no one's gotten in yet. I was once told I wouldn't be able to get backstage to see Mick Jagger. Well, I did get backstage, and I blew him. Oh. Excuse me. I don't know if this is an appropriate question to ask. I think we passed appropriate a few seconds ago. <laughs> what kind of cancer do you have? Breast. Breast. Me too. I'm curious, do you have children? I'm a nun. You have none. No, 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 I am a nun. But that doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy your Mick Jagger story. I thought that nuns had to wear... Oh, I haven't worn a habit in years. <laughs> so then, you don't have sex? No. Never had sex? No. Huh. Just one more. Oh, go right ahead. Are you allowed to masturbate? I never asked. But thanks for getting my mind off cancer for the first time in a week. Oh, happy to help. <laughs> Samantha felt a little better knowing that saints and sinners, despite their habits, get the same treatment when it comes to cancer. And so far, that was no treatment The next at all. day at Dr. McAndrew's office, impatient patients were getting desperate. God bless. Pulling out all the stops, huh? Well, what else was I going to wear? A big tumor? my second day at this fakakta office and my good friend the features editor at vanity fair Ms. jones i've told you a thousand times there's nothing i can do oh my god is this are you you're smith jared's girlfriend well yes i suppose i am <laughs> it was the one name samantha hadn't dropped oh my gosh i love him He's my screensaver. Oh. <laughs> What's he like? Well, he's a... He's a very loyal boyfriend. Always by my side. He would probably come here with me. If I had an appointment. Here, Smith Jared in this office? Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh. Um, let's see. Um, well, sometimes I make an appointment at 8 o'clock. She doesn't like it, but she'll do it. I could come at 8. Um, and Smith, does he get up that early? For this, I think he would. Oh, and, um, if you could get her an appointment, he might kiss you on the lips. You're tomorrow at 8 a.m. She's 7.45. <sighs> Thank you so much. Smith turned out to be more than a screensaver. He was a lifesaver. We're in. Oh, my God. No, oh, my boyfriend. And that is how Smith got Samantha in. Plus none. 